Hey gang, it's Loy. So I happen to have a castle to decorate. And while doing so, I figured out quite a few build hacks concerning candles. The thing that has just been introduced to Minecraft and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So in this video, I'm gonna share those build hacks with you. And if you know some more build hacks that we could use with candles, then do let me know down in the comments below. Let's go! We'll start with the easiest ones. These are all over the Minecraft subreddit. Here, for example, if we put two stone like this, light grade candle there and an upside down end rod underneath it. Do you see it? This is supposed to be a sword stuck in the stone for bonus points because the candle becomes the handle. Ooh. Another really easy one is a long candelabra made out of the lightning rods where you basically just put two lightning rods together, put a candle on top and voila. It's looking pretty cool. But forget about the long candelabra, what if we could make a very long candle? Well, my friends, you can just take a light grey candle, put it like this, and put a couple iron bars underneath it. Well, a couple. As many iron bars as you want, really. And I'm gonna light this one. But now let's move on to something a little bit more complicated. You see, putting a candle onto your table just like, like that willy-nilly actually is not a good idea because candles melt and then you just end up with a wax all, all over your table. A solution would be to just put an item frame under the candle, but we can't necessarily do that here on Bedrock Edition. But luckily, there's a much more aesthetically pleasing solution with armor stands. What we're gonna do here is put our table level on this like that, put an armor stand on top of it, click this, click that, and put a helmet onto the armor stand, like this. Plop a full block on it, plop a candle on top of that, and then just piston the candle in place. Of course, if the pistons agree to cooperate. And hey, if you are incredibly rich on name tags, you can even do something like this to get a little stone plate under your candle. You know, just, just really, really nice looking. A fun alternative to this hack is if we put an armor stand exactly like so and grab a chain helmet instead, then we can potentially put a black candle onto it or a several even, push them into place and get yourself a chess piece. But my favorite thing to use as a candle holder are the skulls of our enemies. Here's how you make it. Put a hole in the ground, put an armor stand there. Put a skeleton skull or a wooden skeleton skull on it. Two blocks over, this block here, move it with the piston downwards. Full block so we can put a candle onto. Destroy the full block, put another piston there and voila, we have ourselves a nice skull candelabra. If you feel a little bit iffy about having the armor stand bits sticking out, you can use an oak wooden slab here instead of a stone one. I just use a stone one because it, it is the one that looks the best with the regular skeleton skull. Also, it's looking kind of like a crown until we light it. But by far the coolest and the most neatest trick that you can pull with a candle right now is the fact that a candle is perfectly lined up with a regular old lever. In fact, here on the bedrock edition of the game, you can even put levers onto the candles. Same goes for torches too. This means with just a little bit of clever block placing, we can put together an incredibly cool candelabra just by placing the blocks like this, removing them and swapping them for levers attached to a candle. You can barely see the original candle in there either just because the levers are gonna overlay it so hard. Naturally, this is my favorite trick to pull. I hope that they don't fix this. But if they do, I beg Moyang to, you know, make levers placeable on cobblestone walls. I mean, look how thick the cobblestone wall side is, and then look exactly how thick the lever side is. This should move together somehow. Come on. We can already place them on top. And last and most certainly least, if you place two candles like this, place a stair underneath, and a sideways shulker box like this. Um, 
uh, you get a snail. It's a snail, everybody. And combining all those build hacks, we get this nice library interior with not a single light source that is not utilizing fire. <laughs> and that's gonna be it for today. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Do let me know if you have any more ideas as to how to use candles, what to put them on, and what other build hacks there are in the Minecraft 1.17. Caves and Cliffs update, part 1, and hey, if there's enough down in the comment section, I will certainly be making a follow-up video on it. Thank you everybody so much for watching, this has been XP. this has been several build hacks with the candles in Minecraft. To be continued, have a good one, bye-bye.